Hi guys, apologies again for how long it's taken to make a video. It's been a very busy couple of months. I'm now a qualified nurse. I got married and I'm in a new house, so obviously really busy time. But I'm hoping um, this time that I have off before starting work, I'll be able to make some videos, update you guys and answer some of the requests and the messages that I've been sent by you. So this um, video, as you can see from the title, is going to be about my dissertation. I actually did this in April, I handed it in in April, so it's been a long time coming this video, I'm really sorry about that. Um, our university dissertation is an extended literature review and it's 8,000 words. Um, and basically what that means is that we um, pick some articles that are about our subject and we review those articles, so that would be critiquing and we're reading the research and we're um, seeing their methods and kind of what is the best research to use and the pros and cons to each art article and the arguments that they use and sort of formulating um, conclusions to that in our chapters. So my dissertation topic was on um, adolescents with cystic fibrosis becoming non-adherent to their treatment and this is something that really interested me um, because my cousin has cystic fibrosis, I'm a carrier of cystic fibrosis, it's something that's very close to our family, close to my heart, um, and that was my interest, that's what I did my elective placement on, which I'm going to do a video um, about that as well. And so in my dissertation I did three chapters, the first chapter was about dealing with a chronic illness and how the adolescents um, use coping mechanisms to deal with um, with having cystic fibrosis. The second chapter was about health beliefs and the perspectives and the views of um, the adolescents themselves, the patients and their parents and the healthcare professionals, which was really interesting. Um, I actually really enjoyed doing that chapter. Um, and the third chapter was on independence versus dependence. So how um, adolescents with cystic fibrosis are becoming more independent as they grow, grow into adulthood, but also require a certain amount of dependence on parents and healthcare professionals. So again, that was quite interesting to me, not to everybody, but I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and actually picking a topic that I really enjoyed was really important um, because I never really got bored of doing it. I actually really enjoyed doing the research I really enjoyed doing the reading, I enjoyed writing it up. Um, it was all kind of the bits in between that I didn't enjoy and kind of the pressure of being on placement and doing the dissertation that was really difficult. Um, so in my dissertation I had six articles. Um, I think it's best to have UK based articles if you're in the UK um, and recent articles so within the last five years. Sometimes that's not always possible, it wasn't always possible with my dissertation. I had some older articles and um, some articles that were from abroad. Um, however, I just had to create a rationale for that and I had to just say why I'd use those articles, why they were still relevant um, to the UK and the NHS um, and to adolescents with cystic fibrosis living today. So, um, I got my grade about a month later. I got 61%, which is a B grade, um, or a 2-1. Um, I was actually really upset with this. I was really hoping for a first. Um, I really wanted an A, but I'm glad that I passed, and I've kind of got over that now. I think because I got first in my exam, and exams are really not my strong point, um, I thought that I would do better on my dissertation, but it was su such a stressful time, and it was really hard work. So I'm just glad I passed. Um, so the quick tips that I would have for people doing their dissertation is um, to pick your topic and to get your articles really, really early and to review those articles, you know, use a highlighter, go through them, um, highlight all the bits because I think it's even it's it's even worth doing that before you even start your final year of university because that is such a massive thing that takes up so much time. It's just good to get it done before um, and then it takes a lot of pressure off and you can just start your chapters in September when you start back at university. That's a really um, something that I wish that I did. Another thing I wish that I did is when I was writing, um, there's lots and lots of different sections you have to do, like your introduction and your methodology, your rationale, your chapters, um, your conclusion and all bits like that, I'm sure I've missed stuff. Um, but I would have done that on separate Word documents and put it together at the end. Um, what I did was had it all on one Word document, but that made it so hard to edit and to read through, um, and I got very confused with what was going on. So that's the other thing I would do. 
Um, the last tip that I would have is, again, I'm going to reiterate, have a topic that you really, really enjoy. Because it's such a long project. I was doing it from September up until April. Um, and you've just, you've got to enjoy it. Otherwise, it, you'll find it boring and it will be harder and you'll get a worse grade. Um, so pick a topic that you're really interested to in and again um, think about that topic before you even start university in September have that topic in your mind um, what you want to do maybe um, what our university got us to do is um, a spider diagram of all the different topics the pros and the cons and the things that you can explore in that topic um, which allows you to think am I is this topic of interest to me um, how am I going to have enough material um, to do this? So do a quick literature search and see if there's enough literature on the subject. Because quite a lot of the girls at uni, they picked a subject, they tried to search for it and there was just nothing. Um, so definitely do that. And um, also just make sure you know exactly what you want to do in terms of your chapters. Um, so if you're, you might say, for example, I want to do something on cystic fibrosis, but on cystic fibrosis there will be so many subjects that you could um, possibly explore. So I chose to do health beliefs, um, and I chose to do dealing with a chronic illness. Um, independence versus dependence came after reading my articles, and I realised that it came up a lot in my articles, so I decided to add then a third chapter. Um, so definitely get that sorted as early as possible, and anyone that's doing a dissertation um, or thinking about doing one soon or doing one next year, I wish you all the best. Um, and just keep going with it. It's hard work, but it's worth it when you've finished and it's, and it's done and submitted and you've passed. Um, so I'm sorry that this has been a long video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, just comment below. If not, I'll see you in my next video.